In Escape from Tarkov, one of the first quests players are provided with are to turn in first aid kits called Salewas. Not only are they needed for a task, but when meds are extremely short and limited, the game has you turning in the few meds that you actually find. For experienced players, Salewas can be easy to find, with certain hotspots for meds being their common points for checking day one so that they can quickly move on to other tasks and avoid searching for Salewas for much longer than an hour or two. However, some newer players still struggle with finding these Salewas early on, as they're just not familiar with what the med spawns are. In this video, we'll be going over where those Salewas can be found and what you can farm to get them if you're having trouble finding them in any of the loose spawns. Any numbers that I reference in regards to specific containers will be based off of the numbers that I did while testing 1,000 of each container. If you have any specific questions about those containers, I would reference that video before asking them in the comments as that video should have more specific information for you. However, in regards to Salewas, most spots that are best for Salewas are going to be those loose spawns. My only problem with loose loot spawns is that a lot of times they have such a wide range of things that spawn there that sometimes you can't find an item consistently. You can get really, really bad RNG and struggle to find the one item that you need. With the wipe right around the corner, it's time to talk about where to find the Salewa first aid kit. When you accept your first four tasks after you load up Tarkov after the wipe, therapist will request three Salewa quests for completion of her first task titled Shortage. Salewas are generally not difficult to find, however, on day one of wipe, everyone will be grabbing them, so it's important to know some of the areas that people don't commonly check that may be off the beaten path. The first thing to go over, as usual, just because I have numbers on them, is the containers. The primary container to loot in regards to Salewas are going to be the medical supply crate. A few of these are available on customs and woods, and if you're able to buy any of the keys to the bunkers on reserve, there are multiple in each one of those gated areas as well. However, even without keys on reserve, there is one in the new bunker that is under the helicopter area, and then one also in the courtyard near one of the trucks in the helicopter area as well. The medical supply crates have about a 7.5% chance of dropping Salewa. Although this is not a crazy high spawn rate, it is quite reliable and quite consistent. The biggest benefit for using containers to gather specific items is that they're extremely farmable for those particular items if they have a decent rate, which 7.5% is quite high. The other containers that you will want to be checking, although they are untested, are going to be all of the first aid bags. There's two different kinds of bags, the SMU-06 and then like the regular med bag. Uh, I unfortunately do not have data on these yet specifically just due to the small number of them and how many I would have to farm to get to that data. Uh, but I can assume that they are going to be much better than most of the other containers with the exception of the medical supply crate. So I recommend prioritizing the medical supply crates, first aid bags, and then duffel bags as those had a lot of Salewas in them as well. As I mentioned before, Salewas have a ton of loose loot spawns and the idea in your first few raids of a wipe is to survive and balancing out finding the items that you need but also getting out as that is the most important thing if you're not getting out you can't turn them in for your quest with this in mind it's important to weigh the likelihood of finding a salewa and likelihood of dying while optimizing a route based on this to allow you to get out of a raid with your precious salewas with at least with the least amount of player interaction as possible giving you the best chance for survival as usual, you'll probably want to be collecting these while you're running your normal raids if possible. So the first two maps that we'll be addressing are going to be Woods and Customs due to this. Reserve will be included at the very end, but this is simply because most of the task items that you'll be looking for, you can find on Reserve. So if you're having, ha so if you're having trouble finding them elsewhere, you can load up into Reserve and try to hit as many of the places as you need for Salewas, flash drives, gas analyzer, er gas analyzers, or any of the other task items that you're looking for in one raid, and then just run to the extraction once you've hit those areas. The first map that we'll be addressing is Woods. It is generally a map in which I complete my first run to unlock Jaeger, just because I find it very important to hit, get Jaeger as quickly as possible as he's got more modification options. And in addition to this, if you're struggling to find the MP133 shotguns, this unlocks a purchase of those, which you can turn into Prapper as they are not required to be found in raid. 
the first place to address on woods has to be the large outpost which has a ton of med spawns in it this was introduced in the woods update and expansion uh, i believe two wipes ago this is where i personally check when i'm running woods as there are lots of med spawns there are a few medical supply crates and duffel bags which also have the possibility of spawning Soleil woods Although Salewas can be found elsewhere on woods, including at the USEC camp and the convoy as loose loot, I generally find these to be much less reliable than the outpost. If you're nearby, I strongly recommend checking it, but it's definitely not worth crossing the entire map to go check, whereas the outpost, it's definitely worth checking every raid you do on woods if you don't have your Salewas yet. The next map to address is customs. This is probably the most common map that people visit first, as most of your early game tasks and quests are on this map. The first thing to notice with customs is that there are very, very concentrated spots that Salewas do spawn in, but they are generally highly contested even later on in the wipe due to the high value items that spawn there as well. We will be addressing all of these spots, even though their survivability may not be great, just so that you know where to check if you're on a scav run or something like that. So the first one, which is the highest contested spot, is going to be the medical building uh, in the newer area of customs. It was, it was introduced a few wipes ago, and this is near what people used to refer to as L, but it is now kind of across from the large outpost on the south side of the map if you're using most of the maps that are provided online a lot of people call this building crack house medical or intel it is very close to the large outpost where the scav boss can spawn inside this building on the first floor as you walk in there are a couple of med bags on the left side and in addition to this there are a few med spawns on the floor here as well you will want to be really really diligent here because sometimes it is hard to find all of the meds on the floor so just make sure that you're really really thorough when checking the floor here as there are some that can spawn underneath the thing underneath the little rack and then there are some that actually spawn almost in the floor here on the second floor in the large room with like the green glass windows that face the outpost there are tons of med spawns on all of the tables and all the shelves so you'll just want to kind of walk around the external of the room and check all those tables and shelves see if you find them and then finally on the top floor as well if you go down to the far end of the hallway near the door that goes out to the metal stairs there is a room and in that room on the shelves you also get a lot of different med spawns there as well a few areas on customs that might be overlooked that i feel i don't notice players hit as much uh, early on in wipe just because of their fear of the scav boss being there are the medical crates that are in the outpost there are actually going to be two of them so there's one on the second floor um this one is not hit as often uh as the one on the first floor as it's much more exposed however on the first floor if you go in from the ground floor if you go into the left side from the medical side of the building you can go into a small room kind of in the back left and in that room you have multiple different loose med spawns a couple of different med bags and a medical supply crate as well Across customs, there are a few med bags that are just kind of scattered around. So we'll kind of go through these very quickly um, with very, very brief video of where each one of them is. The first one is going to be in the car in the trailer park. So you'll want to go over, open the trunk of the car, and it'll be inside that trunk. The next one is going to be in the blue building that is north of Big Red. Not the south building that has all the filing cabinets, but the one north of Big Red near the road. The next one will be behind old gas station near what we, a lot of people call the giving tree. The next one is going to be in the basement of warehouse four. It's going to be on the left near one of those like large metal wall things that people put up with a light beside it. There's a med bag on the floor there. The next one is going to be in the building inside of substation. So if you're standing up at substation, there's only one building up there. Go inside that building. There's a med bag on the table. There are two in the supply closet of the gas station if you are lucky enough to get that key early on. This is a pretty common key that you can get from jackets. So if you're hitting jackets and you find that key, then you can get them from there. The final one that I want to go over for customs is on the second floor of the room with the green screen uh, inside of what we call the building repair. So you're going to go in that building, go up the metal stairs that goes to the side that has the green screen, go in the back room with all the tools, there's actually a medical bag in the back of that room on the bottom shelf. While the previously mentioned two maps are the ones that you should be running the most in the first few hours of your wipe, if for whatever reason you're struggling or you're taking your scavs in between your PMCs and you're going to reserve, a couple of the areas that you can look for on reserve that are really, really great for farming the first and most obvious one is going to be the white bishop building this is actually just a medical building overall it's kind of divided up in half 
and one side of that building is mainly medical and the other side it kind of has a collection of like weapon boxes and things like that so you're going to want to hit the medical side of this this is going to be the side closest to black bishop you can hit any of the different rooms on this side on both the first and second floor and all of these have med spawns in them there are two locked doors on the third floor of this building uh, if you find one of those keys i think it's rb smp and rb ksm uh, you can find Salewas in there as well they're actually quite common in those two rooms but the likelihood of finding one of those keys is much lower than the likelihood of finding some of the other keys uh, that can get you some Salewas on some of the other maps on the bottom floor in the basement there's actually like a medical room and there is one med bag in that room and then there's a lot of different med spawns that are just kind of on the ground even if you're not getting Salewas you can pick up the hemostats tourniquets ai2s bandages all the different things that you need for the Salewa craft even if you're not finding them you can try to pick up those items and get out of raid with those and then start crafting your Salewas as I mentioned before you have the medical crates um, that are very very good on reserve specifically there is one in the new bunker area near the helicopter and then one in the courtyard near the helicopter as well in addition to this though there are four caged areas in the older bunker over on the further side of the map near the K buildings if you go out, down into this bunker if you have any of the RB PSP or RBPSV keys. Any of those keys will unlock these, which have at least one medical crate in them each. Uh, and I think a couple of them have two medical crates in them as well. All of these areas, if other people have keys, are going to be highly contested, though. These are some of the most common areas. So a few of the ones that I've been lucky to hit uh, late on PMC runs or on my snap my scav runs to snag a couple Salewas uh, that a lot of people missed is the black bishop building if you go to the room where you drop down if you just go to the room beside it instead of going up to that locked door that room there's some shelving units in there on those shelves you can find salewas in addition to that it, there is a med bag you can find them in there as well in the black pawn building the second floor has a collection of meds in an area that's kind of marked off by like some sandbags and tarp that area is very very clearly a medical area and if you walk around in there a lot of times you'll find a salewa there's also a med bag near the back of it but just check around on all the beds on all the shelving units all that kind of stuff i found salewas there quite often also a lot of different splints painkillers things like that Again, you can pick those up for the crafting as well. The final building on reserve that I find a lot more Soleil was in than the others. This is probably the least visited area and probably the one that I find the most Soleil was in early on in wipe when it's late in a raid because a lot of people just don't look here is going to be the white night building. So if you're in kind of the alleyway that is between like the large garage garages and then the white night building, if you go into the door facing the alleyway, go into the hallway on your right and go into the first door on your right you can actually see from the window there's like some there's like a table with meds on it and a shelf with meds on it i found soleil was there before in addition if you just continue down the hall when you come through the door uh there's a little shelf and then or there's a little table and then on that table is a stretcher on that stretcher, you can see like blood and AI2s and things like that. Soleil was spawned there as well. I've seen a lot of IFAX there, but I've also seen some Soleil was there. So that's definitely not a bad place to check as well. In the King building, if you're near the gym or basketball, a lot of people call it as well. If you go to the door that is facing towards the night building, or if you're coming in from that door from night building, if you just go up the stairs directly on the left, uh, once you get up those stairs, that first door, if you open that, I have found Salewas on the shelves on the very back, also on the ground, and also in the med bag there as well. So that's also a really good spot that a lot of people miss day one of wipe uh, that are newer players looking for Salewas or just more experienced players who are running through white bishop and then just ignoring the other buildings. Like I mentioned before, you are able to craft your Salewas on your med station. However, this will require you collecting a disposable syringe and a pile of meds. However, you might be able to collect these items while looking for your Salewas. And if you happen to collect these items first, it might not be a bad idea to start trying to craft the Salewas if you're struggling. But they will take about 22 minutes to craft. So that's about, you know, you could probably get two done in one raid. However, you just can't stack them, unfortunately. So you'd only get one per raid. And it uses two tourniquets, two of the Esmark tourniquets, two of the regular aseptic bandages, two of the Anogan painkillers, and one hemostat. If you're lucky, you can definitely get a few of these Salewas in one good run. 
in my experience i've had the most luck at getting more than one of these in a raid on woods in that outpost that i mentioned first however this is highly contested so you need to get there and get out of there as quickly as possible and if you don't get a close spawn to it it might be worth just waiting until later in the raid to try to check it and hope that nobody else checked it the only other time that I've gotten really, really lucky in one raid is by going reserve and hitting the medical crates and running through the white bishop building. That is just the safest route. Um, although it's contested, you hit it, hit them as early as possible and get away from it while other people are hitting like the, the technology spawns and things like that in the black bishop building. I hit the medical crate, run through the white bishop building, and then take that directly through King to the med bag near the gym. And then I take that directly to the extraction at sewer manhole. If I find anything that I can craft slaves with, I put that in my secure container just so that I'm still netting positive even if I die. And that kind of gets me going on a roll regardless of whether I'm finding them or not. Hopefully this video helps you more quickly collect your Salewa so you can quickly move on and start accumulating meds rather than having to turn all of them in. If this did help you, I'd greatly appreciate if you would like the video and then comment down below and let me know if this helped you collect your Salewas more quickly. If you'd like to see more content like this, I recommend hitting the subscribe button. And then in addition to that, checking out the wipe hype playlist. That playlist is going to be addressing as many of the different items as I can that are being looked for right at the wipe. And in addition to that, I'm going to address some of the guns that are the best on the day of wipe that you can actually mod before even going into your first raid. If you're a newer player, we're going to have a playlist coming out called Lost in Tarkov. What that will be is that will be a playlist that is dedicated to helping onboard players as easily as possible, going over keybinds, going over the health system, maps, all kinds of stuff like that that will help you feel more comfortable in a game that has a super, super steep learning curve. With that being said, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.